Here's how to solve the annoying error message, site can't provide a secure connection when you're trying to run your web application from Visual Studio. There are a few different reasons for the message. If you're running the website using Visual Studio's own web server called IIS Express, then here's the most likely reason. IIS Express has a default self-signed SSL certificate that only runs on ports 44300 to 44399 inclusive. So you need to ensure your web application is bound to one of these port numbers. If you have an older project that's not .NET Core, say it's an MVC project, here's how to fix it. So in Visual Studio, you need to press F4 and the properties window will appear. So now if you click on the actual website project here, you can see SSL enabled is false. So you need to double click this and put it on true. Then it will set an SSL URL. Sometimes you might have a project where it's already set, but the local host is using port 1000 something. If that's the case, then you will have to click on this to false and then change the SSL URL here. A reminder that you can only use certain ports, so it has to start with 44300. You might find that some projects won't allow you to toggle this SSL enabled field here. It's a real nightmare when this happens. So if you find that you can't toggle the field, then you need to go into the Windows Explorer and manually change the SSL port of the project. So to do this, you need to go into the solution folder and then look for the .vs folder. Note that it may be hidden, so it is normally there, especially if you set up a solution. So then you need to go into the web project and look for a config folder. And you should find a file called applicationhost.config. So there are a couple of things you can do here. The first thing is just to delete the file. And when you reopen Visual Studio, it will recreate the file. So that may solve the problem. Alternatively, you can edit this file and change the SSL port yourself. So let's try that. So this file can be quite big, but the place to look for is bindings. So this is an XML file and there should be a bindings part here. And you'll see that the protocol is set to HTTPS here. And if you manually change the port number here, then this will work. It's probably worth looking for HTTPS or HTTP in this file because sometimes it's there a couple of times, but it depends on your project. So once you've changed the SSL property here, then you can right click on properties here and you'll get a different properties window, which is obviously a bit confusing, but you should make sure that the project URL here is set on the SSL version. So HTTPS, I also like to set the start URL here, at the, so I can set that as the same thing. So make sure they're both on HTTPS and also that this is using IS Express, i.e. the web server built into Visual Studio. So if you click on create virtual directory, then it says the virtual directory was created successfully. So this is a good test to show that the website should work now. I'll briefly mention what to do with a .NET Core website. You probably won't have this issue with .NET Core, but you might do, so here's how to fix it. So if you right click and go to the properties on here on a .NET Core project, you'll see that there is actually no web menu here. So the way to change the IS Express port number is to go into the properties folder and go to launch settings.json here. So open this file and the IIS Express port is here. So this is how to change it. So if you change it in here, this is the thing to do for .NET Core. If neither of those solutions work, then something else you can try is to run Visual Studio as an administrator. However, this is not recommended due to the security implications. By the way, the site can't provide a secure connection issue first appears to have risen in Visual Studio 2019. It definitely affects Visual Studio 2022 as well and will probably affect future versions too. 
This is especially relevant if you're working with legacy web applications that don't use .NET Core. If you find another way to solve this problem, then leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.